Did you know, for example, 27% of UK adults have taken illegal drugs? I took some illegal drugs once. It was just paracetamol, but I nicked them from boots. 1% <laughs> of British women have paid for sex. I charge a pound a minute. And let me tell you, ladies, after a night with me, you'd be lucky to get any change at all out of that two-pound coin. <laughs> 55% of parents say that childhood is now over by 11, which is when the pubs close and Uncle Terry gets home. <laughs> oh, Uncle Terry. <laughs> and, on average, men spend 20 minutes in the bathroom every day, and women spend 27 minutes in the bathroom every day, but not directly after a man spent 20 minutes in there. <laughs> right, let's get started. Has the recession affected you? Because you're obviously, you know, you're producing theatre these days. Are people yeah. not going out? It affects everywhere, doesn't it? And what uh, is sad is that we were first in the recession and we're last out. This is wrong. It's, that is it's wrong. It's wrong. like an orgy, it's, isn't it? It's you don't want to be last out at an yeah. orgy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look and see whether the recession is one of the most talked about things this week. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Well, that's good. <clears throat> Yes, this is the news that the recession in Britain is officially over. To celebrate the end of the recession, I'm going to have a party. I'll get a mix CD, I'll get some bunting, some fun hats, maybe some pick and mix for the kids. Where can I get all of that from? Woolies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> OK, uh, Jason, Jody and Michael, what else have the nation been talking about this week? Big Brother. I think Big, Big Brother. Brother. That's all I'm talking well, about. Well, I mean, yeah. I didn't watch it, but you... Well, you've you... missed out. It's just been... Phenomenal you this year. It? I really, really have. Why? Um, I love the ritual humiliation of people that I have <laughs> I think kind it's human of. Torture. Uh, it, it's good when they come in at first to see who you know and who you don't know. Yeah. Mm. Luckily, we all knew Stephen. Did you know anybody in there? Uh, Vinny, you know. Vinny doesn't give you a choice about that. <laughs> um, what was your best experience in there? There was this uh, one particular time when uh, Stephanie Beecham uh, read the most erotic part of the Bible, which is the Song of Songs. Yes, the, the most erotic part of the Bible. Right. <laughs> That's the bit I go to if I'm feeling lonely. Yeah. <laughs> That's why they put it in the, in the drawer of the hotel. In case, in case you haven't got money for that channel, you can go, hang on, Song of Songs. <laughs> It's it's a, only a, it was only a joke, but go on. It was only a joke. I, I, <laughs> I have a feeling you're going to be saying that again sometime. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 are, are, are you saying I'm damned to hell, yeah. Stephen Baldwin? <laughs> Let's just clarify this. Yeah, yeah. I've just got a picture of you being damned and on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest with you, Alan, I think me and the devil would get on. Yeah. <laughs> Come back to the story, because she was reading the most erotic bit of the book, because I thought you had a bit of a crush on her. She has this voice. She got very into it. Oh, yeah. And it wasn't too long after that that I was evicted. So it, it all worked out just great. When you say evicted, that means what I think it means. <laughs> what does that mean? Basically, it's something to do with your knob, if Jimmy said it. <laughs> 84 shows in, it looks like Sean's broken the code. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a look and see whether Big Brother was one of the most talked about things this week. <laughs> yes, Celebrity Big Brother ends this evening. This week, housemates had to make a clay model head whilst blindfolded. There was a Varna with an ugly, misshapen lump that barely resembled a human face. And then she put on a blindfold and started modelling. <laughs> The one thing I like about Vinnie Jones' acting is he's very consistent. He's always shit in shit films. 